Generally, state prosecutors must charge an individual with a crime within the applicable statute of limitations period, otherwise the charges are barred. However, an important exception to this rule is the discovery rule, which tolls the statute of limitations period until the prosecution discovers or has reason to discover that a crime was committed. In the 1998 case, State v. Wilson, the Iowa Supreme Court considered whether the discovery rule told the statute of limitations period for fraud, even if the crime is discovered within the original statutory period. On April 16, 1992, Keith and Evelyn Wilson, husband and wife, reported to police that their house in Iowa had been burglarized. Shortly afterward, the local deputy sheriff, Gary Bearden, investigated the burglary. In addition, the Wilsons filed a claim with their insurance company, Farm Bureau Insurance Company, for their alleged losses. Both Bearden and Farm Bureau were skeptical about the Wilsons' burglary claim. Nonetheless, Farm Bureau sent the Wilsons a check for their losses, which the Wilsons cashed. In September of 1995, the Wilsons' son, Ryan, told Bearden that his parents staged the burglary to pay for a new front door for their house. One month later, the Wilsons' daughter, Sonia, also told Bearden that the burglary was staged. In December of 1995, police obtained a search warrant for the Wilsons' house and found some of the property that was reportedly stolen. Subsequently, on January 29, 1996, the state charged the Wilsons with theft in state district court. At the time, Iowa had a three-year statute of limitations period for theft. Consequently, the Wilsons moved to dismiss the charges against them as being barred by the statute of limitations. In response, the state moved to amend its indictment to toll the statute of limitations period by one year under an Iowa statute. The statute permitted such an extension for crimes of fraud where the prosecution was commenced within one year after the discovery of the offense. Following the motion, the court interpreted the statute to only apply to crimes of fraud discovered after the expiration of the limitations period. As such, the court granted the Wilson's motion to dismiss, concluding the statute didn't apply because the state discovered the alleged theft within the three-year limitations period. The state appealed to the Iowa Supreme Court.